All right, we are back in the booth and we are gonna do a small sod sonic in kind of a bluegill sunfish pattern. So what we've already done is we've painted, we've painted our bait with a white base coat on it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a stencil from Insane Custom Stencils and I've kind of taped over the eye to block it off, which I can take that off right now because I'm not going to need quite that yet. I'm going to need it later. You don't want, you know, that's the trick to stencils is making sure that you don't hit a bunch of overspray on them. And we'll save this tape. I can, I've already used this thing before, so it's kind of made it a little bit easier to just block over when I do my my brim bars or bluegill bars, whichever whatever you want to call it. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some black golden. All right, so we're gonna get some some black golden out. And I'm gonna give that a little shake. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Creos PS771 so I can do a little detail on this. Get this up and ready to go. Put a few drops in. You don't need a whole lot. Go ahead and make sure the gun's working all right. Let's get our pressure cut down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take and lock my lure holder down and just line it up the best I can with this bait. The, the, the stencil's a little bit bigger than the bait, so I'm just gonna take it and just do a light go over on it. Yeah, maybe a little too light. All right, let's try that again. All right, so we're gonna line it up and I'm just gonna lightly go over it. Usually start at the top and just kind of lighten it up on the way down. I don't want it super black. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit that eye. I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna do my, I'll come back and fix that. Okay, that turned out pretty good. We'll go ahead and take this and hit a little bit of this model on the face right here. Gives it a kind of a neat look. So what we'll do is we're just gonna spin it around And we'll draw our stencil off and make sure that's ready to go. All right, so we're gonna get some some black golden out. And I'm gonna give that a little shake. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Creos PS771 so I can do a little detail on this. Get this up and ready to go. Put a few drops in. You don't need a whole lot. Go ahead and make sure the gun's working all right. Let's get our pressure cut down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna take and lock my lure holder down and just line it up the best I can with this bait. The, the, the stencil's a little bit bigger than the bait, so I'm just gonna take it and just do a light go over on it. Yeah, maybe a little too light. All right, let's try that again. All right, so we're gonna line it up and I'm just gonna lightly go over it. Usually start at the top and just kind of lighten it up on the way down. 
I don't want it super black. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit that eye. And I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna do my, I'll come back and fix that. Okay, that turned out pretty good. We'll go ahead and take this and hit a little bit of this model on the face right here. Gives it a kind of a neat look. So what we'll do is we're just gonna spin it around and we'll draw our stencil off and make sure that's ready to get go. Get this other side ready to go. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna line it up and then we're gonna take and just lightly go over it. You don't want it jet black on this because you're gonna be adding other colors around it. I don't want it super dark. It's a small bait anyway. Okay, and there you go. Go ahead and hit that eye. We'll hit a little bit more modeling on this right here. Okay, and we will do this like we did on the other side. We'll, we'll go ahead and hit this on. And that really turned out good. All right, so we got that heat set in, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some color to our little bluegill. And what I'm gonna do first is, well, I'm firstly gonna clean this gun out. I didn't clean the gun out. But these side sonics are a super nice bait. If you haven't used these, they have a really great swimming action for a knockoff. You really can't go wrong with them. It um, it is a really good blank. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of orange and we're gonna put it right here on the chest of this bait. So we'll give that a good shake. This is kind of a, this is not a hard pattern. A beginner can do this one. You're not gonna need but a few drops. Turn our fan on. And we're just gonna run it right here on the chest. We're gonna heat set that really quick. All right, so we've gotten that dried off and we've gotten our orange on our belly. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take a little bit of bronze and put it up here around the face and below the eyes. And right probably maybe a little bit down here on the belly. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit right here. Right here below the eyes. And just a little bit around the belly here. Just button up to that orange that we put on the, that we put on the um, chest right there. We'll put a little bit up here on the nose. All right, so we'll take that and we'll clean that out really fast. I like to clean out between colors. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sepia and I'm going to run it across the top. Sepia is such a great color. If you don't have that in your, 
in your arsenal. You need to get some of that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go across to tippy top. Not heavy. I want to be able to see the scale pattern. So that's going to be about good enough. All right. So we've gotten that dry. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some light green, kind of a yellow shade, and we're going to come across the shoulders on this. Still using the same gun, using my .8. Not real heavy, just, just want to get some on the shoulders. And you can see it doesn't, it gives it a kind of a, a really unique look. Pour that back. I took too much. Took too much. That's a really good color. If you haven't never used it, it's a very good color. I use that a little bit in my frogs too. It's, it gives it a really unique look. So we'll go ahead and get that out of the gun. And let that dry off. really starting to come together. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a little bit of white and I'm gonna do some work right here on, don't kick my gun off. I'm trying out a new camera today. So I've gotten multiple cameras running at the same time, just kind of playing around with what I got going on, trying to get a better view of what I've got going here where you can see it a little bit better. So we're gonna grab a little titanium white, give it a little shake, and get it in the gun. I'm not gonna need but a couple drops of this. I usually put way too much in the gun. And I'm just gonna take the same stencil that we had before and I'm gonna line this up right there. Now this is this is where you need your overspray tape at, because I don't want to, I don't want white going all over the back side of this bait. So I'm gonna line it up, and I'm gonna test it, and I'm just gonna put just a little bit right here. And there you go. We'll flip it over. And we'll do the same thing here. Looks like I'm gonna have to do my black again. So let me just go ahead and do it in white and I'll touch it up with some black. I must've covered it up. So we'll take that, line it up. Then we'll come back with some black and I'll fix that. So I'm going to clean the gun out really quick and we'll be right back. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on the other side and just fix this um, ear on this, on this bluegill. I've put some black in the gun. Just fix my tip so it'll spray fine. And we're just going to lay it on there and we're just going to go to the front side of this with black. Okay, so that turned out pretty good. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I've gotta get a few things of candy mixed up. 
and we'll go ahead and finish this bait up. All right, so we've got some candy, poison green candy 2-0 mixed up, and we've got our eyes out. So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna put a fin on this one because the bait is so small. I mean, I can do it, but I, I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. So what I'm gonna do, I've had this candy 2-0 mixed for a few minutes now, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on this. I'm still gonna, I'm gonna leave this area still white, which you have the bronze here and here. You have the yellow green, and this is gonna be a candy green, which I'm gonna put a little bit down the center of the bait and a little bit on the top, and then that'll finish this one up. So it's a very, relatively simple pattern to paint, but it usually turns out pretty well, especially with the custom eyes I'm gonna put on it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this Candy 2.0 in the gun and the mixture that I used, I just did, I went one-to-one -one with UVLS and a little bit of 4011. I'm spraying on about 15, it's very low. And I'm gonna run a little bit over the top and then I'm gonna run a little bit right here in the middle. Maybe a little bit around the eye. Okay, so that turned out really cool. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let that dry. I don't heat set my candy, so we're gonna let it dry. Give it a few minutes and we'll come back and finish this bait up. All right, so we got that dry. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and get our eyes in the bait. And then we're gonna get a coat of UVLS on this. And then we'll put some resin on it and I'll go over everything that we've done. So I'm gonna get my X-Acto knife and I'm gonna grab this set of eyes. I'm gonna take my gloves off. I've got a few to choose from, so I'm gonna put it up here and see which one I think is gonna look the best. And I think that one, let's see. Yeah, I think that one's really gonna be a good one. So they, these are six millimeter eyes. And they really look good. I'll take that out and show you. It has a really cool look. And we'll take this tape off. Yeah, the tape goes on easy and comes off a lot harder, guys. So let's get this off. That's what it usually does. It breaks off on me. There we go. All right, so we got that off. The bait really turned out cool. Looks really natural. Put those eyes back. Set this over to the side. We'll get us some UVLS. And all I'm going to do is put a little bit of UVLS in this with a little bit of 4011. And we'll make sure that we got a good amount of coverage on this. It'll just lock your, lock your paints in. And we'll let it dry good. And we'll come back and get, a, get us a good coat of um, UV resin on it. I buy these little cups at Sam's Club. You can get like 2,500 for 20 bucks and I go through them. I probably waste more of them than I'm gonna do good, but. All right, so we're gonna grab our Eclipse for this. Cause like I said, I use my Eclipse for this only. I don't, um, I don't, pretty much, I don't use it much anymore, but it's, it's good for this. Oh, I'm having some problems with that and now it's not wanting to spray. Let me grab my PS290. This will spray. Let's 
PS90, this PS290 has got a um, 0.5 in it. it. It really does a good job too. And all I want to do is just get a good coat on this. Just get it good and wet. And you can see the colors pop right out of it. All right, so we're going to let that dry and we'll be right back. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over everything that we did on this bait. So I started out, I used one coat of titanium white. Covered the whole bait, let it dry. Then we came back with the stencil from Insane Custom Stencils, the little brim, SB5, I believe it's what it's called. And I used um, carbon black on that to do the stencil work and we darkened the eyes. Then we came back with um, some sepia on the top and we put the netting, we put the scale pattern on, which you can still see it. I just didn't put a lot on it. So that's why I don't want to put it on there heavy. I want to be able to see the detail work of the, um, of the bait. Then we took the orange from Golden and we put it on the chest area here. Then we took a light green yellow shade and we just came across the shoulders. We did take some titanium white and put a little bit of detail on the ears on both sides of this bait. Then we took some iridescent bronze and we put it up here on the gills and up on the face and right here on the first lower part of the belly, right up against that orange. Then we came back with some candy 2-0 and this is Poison Green, the 4060. And we went over the top, came over the middle, did a little bit over the eyes. Then we used some custom eyes that really just set the bait off. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get some UV resin and get this bait finished up. All right, so we are back and we're ready to put some UV resin on it. Bait is dry. Yeah, it really turned out good. It looks natural. It's got some good colors. Put a little too much on there. I don't know, it dripping. This brush is very tiny. I wasn't going to use a big brush on this, but it um wanting to run on me. And just a little trick for the um UV resin. It's starting to get cold here in Georgia where I live. So what I start doing is I have a hot plate here in the shop, and I go ahead and warm up my resin. And that's why it's that's why it's really kind of runny. But what I like about it is usually when I do it this way, I don't have any bubbles in it. I don't have anything that I'm missing because it's not cold. And you can see it's it's really turn it's popping now. It doesn't have any bubbles in it, which is great. If you take long strokes after you've done the initial work, it usually takes takes all the air pockets or places that you've missed. You don't have to put this stuff on super thick. It it very little will get it done. And I'll clear up this bill. All right. 
length. So what I'll do, I'll put it in the box and when I get it out, we'll show you the final results. All right, so we got the finished results out of the box and it really turned out good. Really came out very clean, very clean. So hit the like button, subscribe. I hope you like the bluegill. Hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.